biggest complaint that I get is that my computer's running slow. You can put more memory in, you can upgrade the CPU, but it's not going to help if you don't uh, straighten out the operating system. And I'm going to run you through a couple of steps and show you how to, to free up your resources so your computer will run better. Um, this is something you can, you can do once a month or once every few months or whenever you see it running slow again and it really helps. It's, a, it's the first thing I do when I work on a computer is, is to do these steps. So here we go. Okay, so first thing I want to do is click on the start menu, click on run, type in msconfig, and hit OK. That brings up your system utility configuration. I'm going to click on the startup tab, and then you, you'll see all the things that are checked in here are the things that starts when Windows starts. And a lot of you are going to have tons of stuff in here. Some of the stuff you need, some of the stuff you don't. Uh, the best way to find out what you need and what you don't is to click on Disable All. And then hit Apply. And Close. And then Restart the Computer. Now that's going to turn off everything that starts when your computer starts. Now after you reboot you're going to get a system config utility pop-up screen and uh, what that basically tells you is that you've made changes to your system configuration and it's letting you know about it and you want to put a check mark in this box saying that it's okay that you made the changes and you want to continue on with that. So you click OK and that'll, that'll save your what you've done. Now down here you can see that the only things that start is the power settings, your uh, your speaker, and your internet connection. Everything else is gone. You're going to go back to start, back into run, type msconfig, click OK. You're going to go back into your system configuration utility, click up the startup tab, and then start checking on the things you absolutely need. And if you're not sure what you need, put your mouse up here and see how the cursor changes. And once it changes like that, hold down your left mouse button and you can drag it across to open up. And it, it shows you like, like this one, Ashton. You know, what's that? It tells me it's my where it's at, my program files, it's my Avast antivirus, so I know I need that. Um, with the mixer, I don't need that to start. I don't need my eBay toolbar. And just go through the list and click on what you actually want to start. Like, I want my Incredimail to start when I load my computer. I want my weather program. And I want my Robo, RoboForm taskbar. Everything else I don't need. There is some things in here that you might need for your internet connectivity if you're using DSL or something like that. Um, if you find out that something's not working, you just go in here open that up, find out where it is, and turn it back on. Click apply again, close, and then restart the computer. And then remember, you always get this up here showing that you made changes. You gotta click in that box to see that it's okay that you made the changes. And then click OK. Now all the stuff that I that I told that I wanted shows up down here. My RoboForm email whether now some of those programs it might take you you know if you want your MSN messenger your Yahoo whatever if you have to use Yahoo um, and Yahoo's gonna hate me for this but they if you put Yahoo and AOL on your computer it really steals a lot of resources and uh, if your computer's running really slow with those programs running then you probably do need to add some more memory at least 512 and uh, have a good day thanks bye